How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to link your Google Analytics to your Google Ads account. There are many different benefits to doing this. The number one being able to share the data in between the two and getting overall better picture of what's converting on your website. So I do highly recommend if you have a Google Ads account to link it to your Google Analytics account and vice versa. So there are actually two different ways to link your Google Analytics and Google Ads account. One is linking it from your Google Analytics account and then the other way is to link it from your Google Ads account. So I'm gonna start by showing you how to link it from your Google Ad Analytics account directly. And then after that, I'll show you how to link it in your Google Ads account. Now, before we do begin, I do wanna make sure that you, if you are um, new to analytics, that you understand the difference between what's called Google Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. What we are looking at right now is Google Analytics 4. It is the newer version of Google Analytics. So if for whatever reason you go into your analytics and you see a view that looks a little bit different than what mine is, it's probably because you're on Google Universal Analytics. And another way you can tell is you can click down this little button right here. And if the properties and apps, if you if you see a UA in front of your code like this one, that means that you are on the old version of Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. If you don't see a number in front of your code, that means you are on Google Analytics 4. So we're gonna be doing this from a new interface of Google Analytics 4. And what I'm gonna do, and how we're gonna connect the account is we're going to come over here to the, oh, I need to move this guy. We're gonna come over here to this little admin tab down below, click on admin. Now it is important to note that you do need to have edit access in Google Analytics and admin access uh, to the Google Ads account that you want to link in order for this to work. In order to check if you have edit access in Google Analytics, you can come over here to account access and you can see that your name and the permissions that you have, as you see, I have uh, full access for this, but you need to at least make sure you have the edit access there. So we're gonna exit out of that now. And then as simple as coming in down here to uh, the property, we're gonna go to Google Ads Linking. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna click on this little link right here. And then we're gonna choose our Google Ads account. Now I do have access to a lot of different Google Ads accounts. But you're gonna click this and you're gonna wanna make sure uh, it's connected to the same uh, Gmail account that you have access for your Google Ads account. So then we're gonna go down here and we're going to find the correct account we want to link. And then we are going to hit, we're gonna move this again. And then we are going to hit confirm. We're gonna hit next. It's pulling in the account, so that's the one that we want. We're gonna hit next. Uh, enable personal advertising. This is, I'm gonna leave this checked. This is just allows you to create remarketing lists and event parameters, which I do think is very helpful. And we're gonna enable auto tagging. We want to leave that on. We don't want to turn that off because that just helps um, sync the data between Google Ads and Google Analytics. So we're gonna hit next here and we're gonna submit. And it is easy as that. Your Google Analytics and Google Ads accounts now are linked, but now I'm gonna go, th go through and show you how to connect it on the Google Ads side uh, with the note that you don't need to do do one or the other. Don't just, I uh, don't think you have to go now into Google Ads and do the same step. Either connect it through Google Analytics or connect it through Google Ads, but here's how to connect it through Google Ads. So we're gonna go over to the account now. So here we are inside of Google Ads and what we're gonna to wanna to do is come over up here to this tools and settings. If you don't see tools and settings, you're gonna to wanna to click this switch view and switch to um, you, you might see something like this. You're going to hit switch view. So you go to what's called expert mode. We're going to hit then tools and settings. Come down here to linked accounts. Now, if you are on the older Google Analytics, Google Analytics, Universal Analytics, you'll see this one right here, which allows you to connect it that way. But we are doing this through the new analytics, which is Google Analytics 4. So we're going to then come here and click details. And you'll notice here that this account is already linked because of what we did before in Google Analytics is we linked it that way. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it's unlinked. So we're going to unlink this real quick. And then all we need to do is then come back and click this button, you guessed it. And once again, uh, important to know that you do need admin access to the Google Ads account that you are connecting. And you do need to use the same email for both accounts. You need to have access on the same email. So there that is. And now as you can see, we are linked to our Google Analytics account. And it is simple as that. Uh, once again, just a reminder, do one or the other. You don't have to connect it in Google Ads and Google Analytics, you connect it in one or the other. Uh, and if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. It does mean the world to me. And like the video, we'll see you in the next one.